What's up YouTube, Barcode here. Today I'm bringing you another Air of Light video. Today is going to be about the event that came out today, April 10th, 2018. And also it's going to be about the, my top five quality of life changes that I would like Game Evil to implement into the game uh, to make our lives a little bit easier. Um, so let's start off with the event. Uh, in the event page, you have this new mission event. Uh, it's about six different uh, reward systems that you can get. Um, it is a longer event and the real first event that Game Evil produced. So I'm I'm happy that they're actually starting to do these bigger events that take more time to complete. Uh, you have the Explorer, which is clearing a thousand stages. Again, you have 20 days to complete this, so you should be able to do this probably in the first week. Um, if you're farming fodder, it's easy. Um, the invasion, so using PvP tickets, it's 300. You should be using all your PvP tickets daily anyway um, for tower upgrades and for skill buns, etc. So this should be easy as well. The dungeons, uh, clear the dungeons as many as possible. Dungeon stages would be, you know, Omen um, and the Awakening Stones. Now, these rewards. It's three-star rare vampire runes. They're not going to do anything for me. Um, you know, we'll check that out and what that is. But, hey, it could help someone else out. I don't know who, but, I mean, if somebody needs a vampire set, I guess there you go. Um, character enhancing um, rune, enhancing runes. I forgot that I skipped that one. And then the bonus is just Servant Summon. So Summon 30 Summons, you get 9 back. So not too shabby. Um, definitely good rewards and a good way to go with Game Evil. So thank you for putting out this event. Alright, so today's video is going to be about top 5 quality of life changes that I would like to see implemented into this game. Um, this is a new game. It's been out for about a month. Um, they are on the right track of where they're going. Uh, and I, I feel like a lot of things are implemented well. However, there was a lot of push for this game to start after the closed beta hit because it's such a beautiful game. It's, it's fun. Um, and I think they may have, may have rushed it a little bit too much or they didn't get enough feedback on these things. So let's start with the top five quality of life changes that I feel like need to be implemented. Number five, um, the, the least of what I feel like should be implemented is um, the whisper chats, okay? So for me, I get whispered a, a ton, obviously, and, and that's fine. I, I like to be helpful. Um, but this whole it's just horrible like I I'll click on this sometimes and it just never goes the the pictures are always changing non-stop um, when I click on a name it doesn't work sometimes um, this just needs to be updated especially this is a communication based game um, you know people are helpful trying to help others um, get, fix your communication uh, pretty pretty simple even the tabs, like if, if you're talking in guild tab or something like that and um, you type something and it it like goes back to normal chat and it happens all the time, um, you know, just simplify your chat and make it work, okay? My number four quality of life issue would be the PvP defense log. This irritates the heck out of me. Um, I like to see who hits me. And who doesn't? It says there's a new leak started on a Tuesday, but it reset two days ago. Whatever. So the PvP log, okay, it only goes up to about 11, I think I counted. And after 11, it doesn't refresh for whoever hit it last. Okay, it just it just stays there. You can't you can't see who hits you. You know you don't you don't see the points that you've lost, you know, all you can see is if your rank went up or down. And 
that could be fine in some, but I like to see who hits me. I also would like to revenge them and either have them lose points or me just gain points. I understand why that can be an issue because three-man defenses and the artificial intelligence of the computer is dumb. So, you know, unless you have a, an OP defense, I mean, and you're attacking, you're revenging, you know, you attack a, a high rank, like a, a 94, and then they revenge you, you're not going to get a lot of points if you're higher rank. You'll probably get two. Um, but if you revenge me, you're going to get 18. So... I understand why it shouldn't be points, um, but there needs to be some kind of change. If I can revenge them, they should lose points, or I should lose points, or you know, just some kind of. Re I should gain points, and there's some kind of revenge should should be implemented. Um, but fix your PvP log, please. The third quality of life issue that I want to talk about, and it this irritates me as well, is. The servant skills and really master skills, but all the skills all together. I don't know if these are bugs. I don't know if it is working as intended. But there's a lot of monsters that have cleave abilities or area of effect abilities, and it doesn't. It's not stated in the skill set. Um, for example, you know, water lucian. Um, Water Lucian Alternate, or Fire Leto, or I've even seen Fire Lara, where they will have an area of effect hit. They'll have one skill, and they throw a, a damage over time on every single person on my PvP team. Uh, I've seen Water Lucian one shot, two melee at once. Um, I don't know if these are bugs, I don't know if they're AoE, I don't know if they're cleaves, however, you need to either put like a little symbol next to it, or put it in the description that it is what it's supposed to be. Um, so I can take a PvP team that I want to. If I have, if I'm facing someone who has a cleave, when they hit the tank, it hits everyone around them then I'm not going to bring two melee. I'm not going to bring like Gretel and Dark Wiggly. I'm going to bring Dark Lucian and another range, which I don't have right now, but you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, f just fix the skills. I mean, just let us know if it's a single target. Let us know if, like for example, Mia, I mean, she has, it, it literally doesn't say that it hits all the enemies. It literally says to decrease the enemy's defense. Okay, that's and to me the way that says that it says it's one person, enemy, not I E S. It's Y apostrophe S. So that's one person. However, this hits everyone. So fix your descriptions. I get it. I know another game, Summoner's War. Barf that their skill descriptions are horrible too but they let it known that it's gonna hit all enemies or it's just gonna hit one so please fix that. Second quality of life issue that I want to talk about uh, number two would be on the same aspect of skills but our masters okay these are servants right yeah pretty self-explanatory these are our masters okay I understand that our, at our artificial intelligence, we can't control other people and control other servants. However, these are our masters. Okay, we ha master them. We, we 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 should control them as much as possible. And I feel like we should be able to prioritize what skills they use on auto. And you have the easiest way to do it to put it in code I mean you we can set whatever skill we want into the first slot second slot third slot make those priorities and and let it be on the player us to control that I mean 
I understand like armor breaks and heals have priority in code when you know the tank drops below 50% or if there's no armor break armor break is tried to, to be applied um, but with with this we have the customization to be able to prioritize what skill we want so let us have that I mean if if we want an armor break but we want a damage over time and I'm doing omen I want my damage over time to go first and no in omen I don't need a defense break and I don't even use it however if I apply a defense break instead of you know I don't I don't necessarily need an attack buff for damage over time so and I if I want an attack buff I would want an armor break to do more damage so let us prioritize what skills are used first in our master only servants I get it we don't control them and if we were able to it would ease the game up tremendously and yeah I want a little challenge so um, at least let us control our masters you know skill one should be the first skill that's used skill two should be the second skill that's used and skill three should be the third skill we use the only you know difference to that or yeah it, it just takes priority so if the first skill is up the second skill is down and the third skill is up I wanted to use the first skill if the second skill is up and the third skill is up but the first one is down I want the second skill to be used uh, that's I, I just want it prioritized in that order please and I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't mind that as well my number one quality of life change free rune removal please everybody wants it we need it at least once a month and after big update patches game evil please the reason we need this is you know for example let's remove this six star run 50,000 gold no okay let's go to my light Gretel and dark Wiggly. okay they are getting a major rework I'm not gonna say nerf because it's I don't think it's a nerf that's my opinion you can think it is but you won't know until patch day so this major rework is making ignore defense not crit so you know I don't need crit rate I don't you know I don't need I don't even need crit damage you know there's crit damage on subs that I, I, I'm not gonna need so you are changing the game not us we played the meta the meta and we used it to how you develop you delivered it to us so if you're gonna change the game you need to help us pay to win free to play whoever you need to compensate us for that and we need a free removal day okay they're Gwigley, you know he doesn't need crit anymore I can literally just go speed attack attack I don't need crit damage anymore okay I can and there's other runes that I want to I want to put on certain monsters like like this one I could put this on <laughs> someone who doesn't need a lot of crit damage or a lot of crit it's 26 percent attack on a beast rune but it cost 50,000 gold to re remove that and the changes were done upon you so we need this at least once a month and after patches I can, I can deal with the rest but give us that and we will be happy for a while also would like to add that you know these these are minor changes but um, that I would like to see but you know maybe like I remove all button um, and then like a total cost of gold or, or if it's a free removal, removal day you know it'd be zero but you know remove all or a transfer switch so like if I click on remove all it would remove all give me a price and I click OK and then go to your storage 
or transfer, if I click like a transfer and I want to, and I click on a different servant, it would swap runes and I could do it individually or all of them together. Um, I feel like on testing and, you know, optimization or, you know, a quick switch for dungeons or something like that to change tanks, whatever the case may be, that would be a great little addition to add. Um, I know you're coming out with a patch right now coming up soon, so, you know, kudos to that. Um, but that's just one thing I would like to see. Um, for PvP, a possible replay, um, I'm sure that'll put a lot of stress on servers. Um, but, you know, be able to replay your dungeon wins, uh, I mean your PvP defense wins or losses to see how your team does, to see, you know, so you can see their speed tuning on defense, you can see uh, what beats your defense, you know, what others bring against that. So you can strategize and you can get better just by a little bit of research of watching your own defense. Um, also like to build out, you know, point out we don't have a lot of guild content, which I'm sure you guys are will be implementing in the future. So, you know, just a couple things that I wouldn't mind seeing is like daily and weekly achievements. You know, if guilds guild members can come together and complete a daily achievement every day or even a weekly achievement every day. So like daily could be running omen you know a hundred times or completing explore dungeons 500 times as a guild daily and then a week and then a reward daily to everyone you know whether it's valor return or you know a couple carrots or whatever the case may be uh weekly achievements for a higher reward um make it a little bit harder um as the mission you know, but, you know, just some interaction within the guild to make guilds actually worthwhile. Um, something to think about. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. My next video is going to be a PvP video, which I'm not going to post to Reddit. So if you like and subscribe, hit that bell. You'll be able to get it as soon as it comes out. Or if you just subscribe, you can just search my channel and it'll come out there. Uh, but I won't be posting on Reddit, so it just gives you incentive to subscribe to me. So uh, thank you again.